what in the bloody hell is going on? I have a charge cable coming out of this car, charging itself. But really, I just have solar cells here hooked up to a battery, and the battery is in turn charging the car. Let me show you guys what's going on. Now, if you're parking this thing, you obviously want your solar panels inside so no one can steal it. If you put it on top like this, maybe someone can just clip off the wires and steal these guys. But I can't put these underneath anyway because the top of the Tesla is dark over here and over here and it's too small towards the back. So I have to put three of these panels, 100 watt each, on top. 155 watts charging into here. It's around 4 p.m. right now so the sun is not as strong. With only the one behind the windshield, I got it connected over here. We have 36 watts but it can go up to like 80 or 90 with really strong sun. Hooking up back one of the panels, I'm gonna add another panel. It's gonna start in a little bit. Another 63 watts or so. Now this is a Jackery Explorer 1500, meaning 1500 watt hour. Each mile, the Tesla consumes 250 watt hour, roughly, if you drive really slowly. So there's roughly six miles of range in here that I can put into the car. In order to make this work, you need what's called a generator neutral ground bonding plug. Now I hacked up my own over here, essentially connecting neutral to ground. I'm an electrical engineer. Don't try this at home. And then we just push this button and it will turn on. This is my Tesla charger. It just kind of loops around and it comes out the window back into the car. So technically I can just leave this in the car and it will charge my car with the solar and possibly just leave that window open just using one panel instead of four of them. It's charging about 1300 watts by default. So I'm gonna lower this to five amps or so, which is going to reduce the output power to about 500 watts. The input is 150 watts right now, but under full sun, it can go up to about 400 watts. So this is sort of comparable 400 watt in 500 watt out so you can kind of say the solar is going into this thing and going right out into the car 500 watts is actually about two miles of charge of range that you're replenishing per hour what do you do while you wait for it to charge of course you can have some milk tea using the battery power of this thing i'm gonna turn this thing on i've got some water in here already 34, 35 degrees, it's working. I'm at 10% of the battery capacity using 828 watts. I got 147 watts going in from four solar panels. It's making sounds already. My recipe is one PG tips, six ounces of water. I know from experience it's about halfway up this cup over here. Then you cover it, steep for four minutes. When I say four minutes, I really mean four minutes. You gotta wait all of that. Probably best to go over rather than under. Then you take the tea bag out and there's all this tea goodness in there. Squeeze out all the tea. One teaspoon of sugar. And it's surprising that one teaspoon of sugar is already sweet enough for this milk tea. Then I have some homemade almond milk. Four tablespoon of this. In other words, a quarter cup. One, two, three. Four. Oops, kind of spilled it a little bit. Mix in all the sugar. And you want to mix it for a good 10 seconds to really get all the sugar at the bottom to dissolve. McDonald's napkins. How many of you save napkins from fast food or takeout so you can use them later? I do. Don't throw them away. It's a waste to throw them away. Just keep them in the car for whatever purposes or bring them home and then you never have to buy paper towels again. Eight ounces of Milk tea right here, cheers. It's just fun to check on how much free electricity I'm getting. 135 watts. After I brewed the tea, it went down to 8%. Now it went back up to 9%, so that's really cool. This video is not sponsored by Jackery. I borrowed this thing, I don't really own it. But it's great that I get to unbox it and play with it. I'll be doing a review video of this thing on my DIY channel. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link somewhere in this video. But seriously though, while using this thing, I put some meaningful amount of miles into this car with solar power. I charged this thing up from 33% to about 80% or so, and I dumped it all into the car. 
and got about three additional miles of range. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Oh, if you guys are gonna buy a Tesla, check out my referral link as well down in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Ah. Uh.